Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to LA Noir for more crime fighting point and click action. We are right back where we left off, about to go and check out this... I think it's a bus shooting, wasn't it? Yeah. We're about to go and check this out um, and carry on with the uh, Manifest Destiny case. Um, and if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell down below the video so you get a notification to your device every time I upload. And as always, guys, thank you for your ongoing support. That guy just chucked his briefcase on the floor and then ran off and left it. Bizarre. Um, remember the usual warning as well, guys. This episode could contain scenes which some viewers find upsetting or distressing. So just bear that in mind before you watch. What the hell? That car just despawned right in front of me. <laughs> what is going on? It's been an eventful start to the case. Well, not to the case, to this video. We've had a man chucking his briefcase on the floor and running off and leaving it, and then a car just despawning into thin air. Can't ever say my videos are boring, guys. <laughs> okay, here we are. We're at the bus shooting or whatever. Oh, it sounds like the shooting's still going on. Jeez. <sighs> Is that Mickey Cohen? Jeez, these guys are just unloading on people. Flipping hell. I wonder if that's one of the guns. One of the ones that, um... Oh my word. This guy is on one. Can we hit him from here? What happened there? Did we die? I think we died. Okay, that was, um... Interesting. So I'm guessing we don't go that way. Is there a way we can move up? Let's see if we can go this way. Maybe we can flank him. Oh, hang on. What's this? I didn't even mean to climb on there. He did it himself. But I'm guessing this is the way we're supposed to go. Maybe we can um, flank him from on the roof. What do we reckon? Oh, I don't know, actually. Drop the gun now! Can we get to him from here? Oh, we can, look. Yes! Well, that was better than getting shot that time. Okay, that was probably the way to do it then. He didn't even see us, did he? That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. But jeez, that guy just... Um, gunning people down in broad daylight. What on earth was that about? Crazy times, guys. Crazy times. Right, search the sniper's body. Okay, let's take a look. I reckon that gun is one of the ones that got stolen from the ship. But we'll see. Uh, nothing to do with his face. And it... Roy's just trampled the body. This is a crime scene, Roy. I'm doing an investigation here. Oh, I wanted to look at his hand but we found some sort of what the hell Alvaro route 217 Hollywood and Sunset between 12 and 2 p.m. CL234 Mocambo table 3 I wonder if that's anything to do with this shooting instructions maybe nothing in there no I want to look at his hand so I wonder if that route 217 and Hollywood Sunset and the time is the bus and what time he needed to be here to shoot it up. I don't know. Anyway, let us um, look at this gun. This is definitely one of the guns, isn't it, I think? Is it one of the guns? Are we meant to be seeing anything here, or...? I don't think so. I think it's just a cartridge. Okay. It's one of ah. the BARs. It is. It's one of the BARs. I thought it would be. So this is tied in somehow to everything else. Oh, well, I guess we're <laughs> I guess we're done with the investigation then. Felix Alvaro. He's one of the guys from the ship. His name was on the manifest. Looks like McGold ah. wanted to get a message. So whoever it is doing all the shootings, 
is taking down people who were on the list from the manifest. Maybe witnesses to who stole the guns and the drugs? They're trying to silence everybody who could point the blame at them. That's my theory, anyway. My people have been in California for over 300 years. Very fucking admirable. Yeah, we're not... It's not that type of thing, dude. Right, informed of the Cool Ridge heist. You hear anything about the big heist on the Cool Ridge? Yeah, I heard about it. So what happened? Not much. Uh, the cops came and interviewed me and all the other guys on the ship. Hmm. Somebody's lying. But do we have anything that proves it? I don't think we do, so it's going to be a bad cop. I was down at the 111 Club this morning, waiting for the medical examiner to scrape Eddie McGoldrick's brains off the bar. You want to tell me anything about that? I heard that Eddie came into some money. Yeah, suspicious that as well, wasn't it? And less, of course, Eddie and him and the other people all involved, and now they're tying up loose ends. Getting rid of people who helped. Right, motive for shooting. Who's shooting at you, Felix? How the fuck do I know? Hmm, you do know. Let's, um, see how we know, though. Manifest. Oh, yeah, there we go, look. It had Alvaro's name on it, and his bus route. So, a cues. The dead guy on the roof works for Mickey Cohen. Why would Cohen want you dead? Man, I don't know anything about Mickey Cohen or, or any of those gangsters. Well, you say that, but you were the exact target of the shooting. Your name was in the sniper's notebook. Level with me, Felix. Cohen thinks because we were on the boat, we have the morphine. Ah. He's meeting those guys to sort it out. Courtney Sheldon? Yeah. You remember Sheldon, don't you, Cole? I do indeed. We'll be in touch, Felix. You heard that Jack is... Oh, in trophy LA. earned. The Fighting the Sixth. He's been here a couple of months. Don't know what that was for. Sure glad to see you got over your wounds, Lieutenant. I mean, Detective. A little stab there. Locate Jack Kelso. He's been under fire before. Okay. Not for a minute. Let's take a quick intermission. Come on. Okay. Oh, look, the little phone symbols popped up. Maybe we've got to call something in first. I guess we can get a location on Jack Kelso, actually, can't we? Call it in. Where's the? There it is. Phelps, one two four seven. <laughs> We, I need yeah, looking for an address Jack. on Jack Kelso, Kelso, I knew it. Just a second. So, all of the guys from our squad are involved Jack in this somehow. Apartment four, 1408 North which Hill ties Hill us in. Hollywood. In some way. Thanks for your help. Could Cole be involved in some way? I mean, we found out he's not as squeaky clean as he portrays himself. I don't know. It's all getting a little bit close to home, isn't it, on this case? Alright, um, let's go to Kelso's apartment. In you get, Roy. He would never get involved in something like this. We brace him and drag him down. I don't know. Is there a road there? Oh, it's a little alleyway. Excuse me. Oh, jeez. Straight into the pole. Okay, we'll just do a bit of damage to Roy's car. It doesn't matter. I don't like Roy anyway, so who cares? I think we came this way before, didn't we? Let's little cut through. Watch out, mate. Whoa. Jeez, I've been uh, playing GTA recently again, so that's why my driving's gone a bit erratic again. Okay, Kelso's apartment, 2.16pm. Why is the Hello, like Jack. funny music started? Detective Roy Earl. Oh. Hello, Cole. We would like a word. Would you like to come inside? Actually, we'd prefer if you come downtown with us. Do you mind? Do I'm I have taking him in for questioning. No. You don't. Are you going to tell me what this is all about? 
It would be better for all of us. All in good time. At the station. Bad move, Cole. Why? How have you been, Jack? Cut the crap. You pick me up in front of my apartment like a common criminal and then expect small talk? Fuck you. It's a bit over the top, mate. We're just bringing you in to ask you a few questions about the shipment. We're not accusing you of anything. Okay, interview at Hollywood, 3.35pm. Here we go then, Jack. The army surplus morphine. Do you know that there's a gang war going on in LA trying to recover that stolen morphine? That has nothing to do with me. No, he's lying. He knows something about it. I don't think we can prove that though. Bad cop. I'm sure it would be gripping to hear more of your life story, boys, but the truth is, I don't give a fuck. You were on the boat, okay. Kelso. What happened? Do you really think a bunch of Marines could muscle in on the dope rackets in this town? Between the vice squad and the mob, I hear it's pretty sewn up. You better watch your mouth. Okay, ex-Marine McGoldrick. Did you know that Eddie McGoldrick recently came into money and bought a nightclub? No, I didn't know that. Didn't you? I don't think he did, actually. <laughs> And you didn't know that yes. some mobsters blew his brains out last night. No, I didn't. Okay, he's being truthful. Arms stolen from the Cool Ridge. You heard that a crate of VARs went missing? No, I didn't. Okay. I think he's telling the truth again. I saw Felix Don't Alvaro think he did today. know. Good. How was he? A little pale. One of Mickey Cohen's goons had emptied about 60 BAR rounds into the bus he was driving. Hmm. A public bus in the middle of Hollywood. In broad daylight. Tell me what's going on. Or do more innocent people have to die? Yeah, and what's in it for you, Cole? Newspapers? More glory? Another promotion? Trying to save the day? Another medal at the expense of men who fought for their country? Count me Ooh, out. Oh, okay. There's a lot of animosity here, but we kind of know why after seeing the latest flashback to the army days. Okay, the SS Cool Ridge robbery. What do you know about the army surplus robbery from the Cool Ridge, Jack? My opinion of is Cole is slightly changing, actually. I don't know anything about the robbery. No, he's lying. Look, he's swallowing and stuff. He knows something. We know he knows something anyway, because we know he's. Um, Involved with Courtney Sheldon in some way. Um, well, we don't have anything to prove it, I don't think. Bad cop. People are dying because yeah. morphine intended to help servicemen is being used on the street. I don't think he's directly now involved. Guys from our old unit being killed by mobsters. We can put two and two together, Jack. Gratitude isn't a concept that has much effect on you, is it, Cole? Answer the question, Jack. Let's get this over with. I was interviewed when the robbery took place. I don't have anything further to add. Okay. Jack, just want information. Bullshit, Cole. Did you seriously believe that dragging me down here would get me to give up my own guys? You call yourself a Marine? Trying to make a name for yourself with this shit? It's an interesting tie he's wearing. With his $200 suit and $2,000 car. The tough guy act is really impressive. I like yeah. you, Jack. I'd like to make you for this. I really would. I'm going to be working on it and keeping an eye on you. You can go now. Shooting. Robert Steiner, 6781. Oh, not another shooting. The victim is the Chris Majewski. Another name Bet he's on the manifest. manifest. Yeah, I was going to say that. Well, I did say it. <laughs> right, let's attend to the shooting. How many more friends of yours are going to get plugged? I don't know. There's something going on here. A lot of them are involved. Talk about tension. That was like being trapped in an elevator with a married couple who can't decide whether they love each other or hate each other. You go back <laughs> okay, Roy. You went too easy on him. Next time, you leave it to me. I know how to handle that smug son of a bitch. Whoa! Jack will never get like crashed straight into a police car. Okay, we're nearly there, I think. I'm gonna rush there quickly. 
Okay, you can turn the siren off now. Here we go. Robert Steiner, 4.20 p.m. They just walked up and shot the man. Oh crap, the there they are. They went that way. Go on, get after Let's them. get after them. It's a full-on pursuit. Good old-fashioned car chase. Is it true that in America they have like a car chase TV channel where you can basically just watch car chases no all day? We need to get closer. Is that actually true? I've heard it is, but I don't know whether it's... Spin him out. I'm trying, but he's driving really fast. Mind out. Police coming through. Hit him. Clear this asshole off the road. I'm trying. I can't even get close to him, really. Right, there you go. Shoot his tires. tires. Keep your foot down. I'm trying. Hit the tires. Come on, Roy. Oh, crap. Getting close. Steer him off the tar. I'm trying. Should you shoot better? <laughs> oh, jeez. Flipping out. Take the shot from here, Cole. Oh, look how fast he's suddenly going. Whoa, whoa. Oh, crap. Uh, how do we get in cover again? Oh, yeah, there we go. One down, two down. Done and dusted. Wow, they took like a massive swerve into that alley, didn't they? That was some pro-level driving. Anyway, they're down. Go have a look around now. Was oh, that a newspaper? Yeah, it is. LAPD vice scandal could go all the way to the top. Huh. We have to look at damage limitation. We can't allow that strumpet Brent Allen to bring down the whole administration. We've got to put a lid on the press. Can't someone talk to Harry over at the Times? It's too late. What the hell is this about? Ridiculous if we drop the story now. Who is this Stoker? Stoker's a lily white. Nothing that will fix this in the short term. My law and order credentials are disappearing as we speak. Can we get Brenda to leave town? Yes, we can, but she won't go quietly. Brenda has extensive records. Can she at least lay low? That's Who's Brenda? Taken care of. <gasps> District Attorney? I knew it. Who is this He's guy? involved. And what does he want, Horrell? Name's Roy Earl. Detective. Administrative Vice. Aren't you one of the clowns that got us into this mess? Oh, I think that the orders regarding Brenda come down, not up, Mayor. I have a human interest story. It involves oh, yeah? a certain LAPD cop, <gasps> a hero from the war, who has led his He's gonna grass us up. Down, who has betrayed America for a German junkie whore. Wow. And his pledge to the LAPD. He is a snake. A dirty snake. Well, so why is the audio so low on this? So what do you want return, Roy? He's gonna pin it all on us. I don't believe it. The little backstabber. See, I knew we shouldn't trust him. He's gonna ruin this. He's gonna release a story about Cole and the singer from the club. So that the press about the corruption in the police goes away. I can't believe it. What a... Oh, I hate Roy. See, sometimes he's quite funny, but he is just a... Oh. What's this? Cole there we go. Sheldon, tonight. Sheldon? Oh, it looks like they were targeting Sheldon next. Interesting. No, hang on. I want to... I want to inspect this pocket. What's this? Some sort of letter. Oh, it's the... An LAPD file. We have a trailer <gasps> in our midst. All of the names... Interesting. Of the ...have a hit team assigned to them. So we've got potential ambush sites now for attacks. Ah. That is interesting. I didn't want to open that pocket. 
So, they have a list of people to take out and where they could be, I suppose. Right, there's nothing more on this guy. What about this guy over here? Oh, nothing. Okay. Um, man, they really like, smashed the car up, didn't they? Why is the bonnet open? <laughs> All right, let's get into the car. Where are we going next? I suppose we've got a list of places we can go to. The post office. The guys from the ship. Chinese place. Should we go to the post like office? The don't know let's go to the post me. office. For to crack. Swings and roundabouts, really, isn't it? So they're trying to attack them all on one day. Get rid of them all at once. Might have to put the sirens on and get over there quickly. Thank you for not crashing into me. Okay, let's head over there. Come on. Excuse me, police business coming through. Right, let's turn the sirens off so we don't alert anybody. Oh crap, there's already a shootout. Jeez, Hollywood Post Office, 4.53pm. Flipping hell. It's all going off, guys. It is all going off. Oh no, look. Officer down. There's two officers down. Oh, the, the gangs have got suddenly really bold, haven't they? Things have kicked up. Why did my hat just go? Looks like it just despawned for some reason. Yeah, things have um, escalated really quickly here, haven't they? Oh, headshot. Okay, they're moving. They're moving further inside. I wonder if we can get up to the building without getting shot. Yes, we can. Where are they? I think there's one over there. Yeah, there is. Look. Did we get him? I think we did. There's another one. Oh, there he is. Got him. Nice. We took him out. Okay. Uh, another crime scene. What's this? Somebody's dead. Oh, he's alive. What the hell? Tell Courtney. Tell Courtney what? Bad luck. <coughs> it was it's worth a try. Oh crap, he's dead. What's he got in his hand? Beckett's confession, what? Polar Bear Ice Polar Company. Bear Ice Company. Really did it. Wonder whether it, it all ties in. Most people never get the chance to be rich. Wouldn't you risk it? There we go. So it was linked. It is linked to the... Oh, we can't inspect his pockets. Can inspect his hand. There's nothing there. Okay. Um, geez. What now? Something else. Uh, is it this over here? No. There is something else to take a look at in here. Because it's still... Making the... Oh, maybe this? Yeah, here we go. Hmm. Nothing there. Let's inspect the hands. No, nothing again. Ah, what's in the pocket? A note. Meeting with Co meeting with like Cohen and Sheldon later tonight, sixteen forty North Las Palmas. Sorry, I don't know. I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's like a squeaking noise. I don't know what it is. I can sort of hear it. So I don't know if the mic's picking it up or not. But I don't know. I'm not sure what it is. Oh, okay. 
Goldrick, Driscoll, these are good guys. Why did they get wrapped up in this thing? I don't know, there's something very suspicious going on. It's all linked. Not everyone has your unwavering restraint in the face of temptation, Cole. Hmm. I don't like your comment, Roy. I mean, he's, he's right. But he is a Saki guy, isn't he? Right, should we go to the Chinese place now? Guess we do. Um, right. This isn't I think good. we will leave it there, guys, because like we are out of time. The back of a race. You sure it's Cohen making um, so, the mystery away. deepens. Your Hopefully we'll be able to sort all this out. Being a Marine but it's not looking good, is it? This is a, a big operation going on here. And I have no idea how it's going to play out. Um, but we'll find out, hopefully, in the next one. So, that is going to do it for this episode. So, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.